Before setting up an IFTTIS account, we'll need to have either eAuthentication access or a login.gov account. eAuthentication for members of federal land management agencies who use a PIV card or link pass, and login.gov for all other users. If you don't have one of these yet, now is a good time to pause this video and set one up. To create an IFTDIS account, we'll navigate to IFTDIS at iftdis.firenet.gov and click the login prompt at the top. There will be a notification informing us that we'll be redirected to continue the login process. Click login. Here we'll choose either government or public partner. Choosing government will redirect us to e-authentication. This is the option associated with any account for federal land managers who use a PIV card or link pass. Choosing public partner will direct us to login.gov and this is the option for all other users who don't have that federal land management affiliation. And in this example, I'll go ahead and log in with login.gov using my login.gov username and password and entering the secondary authentication that came through my phone. Once we enter our login credentials into one of these, we'll be directed to IFTDIS. IFTDIS automatically searches for an account associated with the email we used during that login process. Since we don't have an IFTDIS account yet, we'll see this page prompting us to create a new account. I'll enter the required information here. Uh, one note on username. Uh, this will be displayed on many exportable IFTDIS reports and summaries, so pick one that you don't mind sharing. Now that all the information is complete, we'll click Create Account and be prompted to accept the rules of behavior. And we've just created an IFTDIS account and can start using the application.